Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Tuesday, July 11th, 2023. Let's find out what's going on on the Forex economic calendar today. As you can see, not too many very important events are scheduled for release, only the data from Germany in the form of the very important German CPI, uh, which is expected to increase again from minus 0.1% to 0.3%. Uh, percent. This data will be released at 8 o'clock and of course they have a good influence uh, on the uh, euro uh, dollar and euro related pairs uh, the direction of the movement of the euro and euro related pairs depends on the situation uh, with the news release whether they will surprise uh, market participants or maybe they will be uh, in line or worse than expected so please stay focused um, uh, for the uh, CP German CPI uh, data release and then um, the next very important event uh, is uh, from the US in form of the EIA short-term energy uh, outlook uh, this data will be released uh, in the evening and are scheduled at uh, 6 uh, p.m. So this e, uh, short-term uh, energy outlook might influence the uh, oil uh, prices uh, and it might influence the natural gas uh, prices as well. So two very important uh, data releases for today. Let's switch back to the <laughs> technical analysis part we are going to start with the euro dollar so the four hour chart of the euro dollar is showing us a nice uh, bounce a nice uh, um, nice strength uh, again um, uh, on this on this pair we just broke um, above the level of 1 point uh, 10 uh, 12 we made a new local high uh, at 1.10 23 okay so that there's a nice breakout here however if we take a look here on the uh, RSI uh, we can see that the momentum is very uh, very strong but we are right now uh, trading uh, into extremely overbought market conditions the uh, RSI level was 71.33 points so the momentum is strong the momentum is positive however the market conditions are quite extremely overbought so maybe there is some time for a pullback on the euro um, dollar what do we have here for the support for the support i guess the best uh, level uh, if this old swing high is violated of course uh, the next best level is 1.0974 uh, and then uh, maybe uh, this level here might contribute overall to the situation of the support 1.0942 we are still trading of course above 50 and 100 periods moving average and only a sustained breakout below this uh, moving averages might result in a deeper pushback uh, towards the uh, levels like 1.0834 all right so that's the euro dollar outlook is uh, bullish it's a very uh, very nice uh, outlook for the euro dollar let's now uh, find out something w what's happened on the british pound because on the four hour chart we just recently anticipated um, the, uh, the possibility of the double top right so that would be the first top that would be the second top and then of course we got this um, nice 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 pullback here towards the uh, level of 1.2749 but then we got the again marubozu candle marubozu candle covering the previous candle on a four hour chart and then of course our uh, to our uh, double bottom uh, pattern was invalidated right now the local high was made at 1.2886 uh, back into the um, very very uh, uh, highest uh, very very high levels on the RSI it's not uh, quite over about uh, yet nevertheless it starts to look like a bearish divergence so maybe some kind of a pullback maybe some kind of a 
down movement will be made on the uh, British pound um, as well preferably towards the 50 periods moving average or maybe towards 100 periods moving um, average and again in, this is the same situation as it is on the euro and a violation of this zone here the moving average zone might result in bigger um, uh, bigger sell-off or bigger correction towards the next target which is first at 1.2665 and then 1.2590 all right so that was the uh, british pound let's now take a look at the crude oil because of the data from the uh, from the us as you can see uh, on the crude oil for our chart <coughs> we are still waiting for some sort of the uh, breakout our main zone uh, since the beginning of the june or even longer is still located at the very uh, same levels from the from the top we got 75 dollars uh, and from the bottom let's say we got the levels like 66.80 so this is of course the technical support the other one is technical resistance so what is going on here well it looks like the market doesn't actually want to go either to the upside either to the downside however just recently we again went a little bit lower uh, to test this uh, technical uh, support but uh, the market didn't touch it because the low was made at 67.05 so this is very very important zone very very mm, important technical support for bulls and then slowly slowly but surely like on the ladder we've been climbing higher treating the 50 periods moving average as the dynamic uh, support for the bulls just recently we hit the level of uh, 74.14 and then you can see this big um, pin bar here uh, so far it's a green pin bar but it it means that the uh, the possibility that bears are defending this level as are very high N th there is no coincidence um, in this because we got the the second uh, technical resistance located at 73.80 and this is where the market basically is consolidating their recent gains right now just around this level with the occasional spark a uh, little bit uh, to the to the upside so uh, with this kind of a slowly increasing momentum the outlook remains bullish we once hit this extremely overbought conditions nevertheless there is still a uh, very nice momentum uh, that is increasing steadily without any brutal spikes all right so it looks like the bulls are in control uh, of this market and they might uh, threat the uh, the next level uh, for the crude oil roughly around the level of the 75 uh, dollars nevertheless on the other hand bears will be defending this level or this zone so please uh, prepare yourself for another spikes to the downside maybe some kind of a pin bars maybe engulfing patterns especially after the data from the uh, from the us um, uh, is uh, published because this is the one of the most important uh, events um, uh, for today and as we know the crude oil is a news driven uh, commodity so we might see some sort of the um, increased volatility after this data is published that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time so take care and bye bye